In this study at Mayo Clinic, we were involved in a large phase two study that was both national and international for patients with metastatic bladder cancer. This study involved treating patients with atezolizumab or anti pdl one Approximately 310 patients were treated and all the patients were, that were on the study needed to have progressed on chemotherapy prior to having this therapy. This therapy showed some very promising results by inducing response rates in the range of 15 to 25 percent. And what's, what's unique about the responses is that they weren't short-lived. Most patients who had a response, the median duration of response has not been reached, so therefore the responses are ongoing, leading us to believe that these patients will have very durable and long remissions. Metastatic bladder cancer is one of the most common malignancies in the United States, approximately in the top 10, maybe number nine, uh, of causing deaths in the country. Uh, this disease has a very poor prognosis when, when stage four metastatic with very few clinical options. Patients are initially treated with chemotherapy, which can provide some benefit for a minority of patients. However, that benefit is usually short term. So the, there have been many goals to try to improve treatments with, uh, for patients with bladder cancer, including uh, therapies that are less toxic, as well as therapies that work longer than traditional chemotherapies. So we were involved in a clinical study with a newer therapy, an immunotherapy for patients with metastatic bladder cancer. This is a therapy that allows the patient's immune system to fight their cancer rather than a chemotherapy. This study was a phase two study, so a single arm study with about 315 patients, and every patient had to have failed chemotherapy prior to going on the study. Uh, the patients were um, evaluated for both the response rate, which is determined the amount of tumor shrinkage that is occurring in each patient, as well as overall survival and progression-free survival. So immunotherapy works by allowing the patient's immune system to, to fight and recognize their own cancer. Cancers are really good at avoiding the immune system. One of the ways that they avoid the immune system is through expression of PDL1 or programmed death ligand 1. PDL1, I like to explain to patients, is, is so, sort of like putting up a barbed wire fence around the tumor. So when the immune cells get near the tumor, they aren't able to go into the, in and recognize the tumor, and actually when they touch the barbed wire fence, they, they die. So if we can figure out a way to coat that barbed wire fence with some way to block the, block the sharpness of that fence, it will allow the immune cells to come in. And so that's exactly how anti-PDL1 or atezolizumab works. So it blocks the barbed wire fence and then therefore allows when the, the T cells to come and recognize the tumor and not die once they reach the tumor. Immunotherapy has really been revolutionizing the care for patients with cancer. Here at Mayo Clinic, we've been involved in multiple st clinical studies in an early phase in both melanoma, kidney cancer, and lung cancer. These studies have led to their FDA approval in those respective cancers. Uh, these, these class of drugs have been recently made famous, as you might have heard about our, our former president, Jimmy Carter, who had a history of metastatic melanoma to his brain and his liver. He was able to be successfully treated with these drugs and appears to be cancer-free at this point. What is so interesting and unique about these drugs is two things. First of all, the drugs are extremely effective. So they have response rates that are much higher than anything that we ever had before these drugs, especially in, in, in tumors like melanoma. The second thing that's so great is that they are very well tolerated. Even patients who are 94, in their 90s, 80s, patients who are not very healthy can, very, can tolerate these drugs very well, unlike patients, uh, unlike chemotherapy, which are much more harsh. Bladder cancer is the ninth most common cancer in the world, with an estimated 165,000 deaths annually. Treatment for patients with metastatic bladder cancer is very limited. Right now, the only drugs that are approved for patients with metastatic bladder cancer are chemotherapy. And chemotherapy have, are limited for two reasons. First, they're very toxic. Um, very few patients are able to tolerate a full course of chemotherapy, uh, li which therefore limits the efficacy of the chemotherapy. So most patients who do even get benefit with chemotherapy, the benefit tends to last for only a couple months. So given the high toxicity and the low efficacy, new therapies are urgently needed for patients with metastatic bladder cancer.